ellipses. Here's an ellipse. And that could obviously be a very narrow ellipse or it could be a very wide ellipse. Uh, that's an arbitrary decision on your part. But all ellipses will have a long axis and a short axis and you have to make a decision uh, which of those uh, uh, what, what those um, measurements are so let's draw an ellipse in order to do this you need to have to be working on a board or something that you're able to stick uh, a pin in I've got a piece of cardboard underneath this paper <laughs> So first of all, let's draw the long axis. And then using the method that you've seen in the other video, I'm going to bisect this line. by uh, drawing arcs from either end and joining across like this I'll just make an arbitrary decision on the uh, uh, the uh, short axis so I don't know maybe that So that is the foundation for my ellipse. Now, this is the clever bit. Open your compasses to halfway, like that. Put the point of your compass on the top point. Strike an arc there and an arc there. Is that all right so far? Good. Now, you now need three drawing pins, or thumbtacks as you Americans like to call them. And you put them into the each of these three points. There, one there, and one at the top. Oh, okay, that's all right. Make sure that these are secure and they're not going to come out. These are in pretty, pretty tight because there's nothing more frustrating when you're in the middle of this as one of the drawing pins coming out. So the next thing is you need a piece of string. And or cotton will do. So I have a piece of string here. And <coughs> you need to tie the piece of string around the three. Um, pins. I think I'll just switch the video off because this will probably take me ages to do. Okay, there we are. Uh, it did take me a long time actually. Um, and um, so I've tied it round and you need to tie it fairly tight. I, I could have done it a bit tighter than this but you need it fairly tight. So I've tied it there and cut it off. Now take out the pin at the top if you can right now I'm going to put th this method is not very accurate but it makes a reasonably ellipse re reasonably quickly but you can expect a, a couple of millimeters discrepancy on accuracy but the next thing is to put your pencil in and um, 
stretch it out to that point back where it was now sometimes I've found when I'm doing this that the string slips underneath the pencil so I've cut a, a little I don't know if you can will it focus focus no, it won't. It won't focus but anyway there's a um, if I turn it sideways you can see I've, I've made a little slot in the side of the pencil lead to stop it from uh, slipping underneath now stretch it out and then pull the pencil round yeah. Yeah. so it's come undone but anyway there we are there's an, uh, uh, an ellipse um, it did slip slip under the, the lead but um, that's the way to do an ellipse there are other methods um, there's a method called the trammel method but I, it's very long and time consuming and I hate it anyway so I'm not going to bother to do a video on the trammel method you can look it up trammel t-r-a-m-m-e-l uh, I always use this method because I don't need a huge amount of accuracy. So there we are, the ellipse.